Good with y'all, man. It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan, the game, and also the Rebel of YouTube Underground. By the way, I say a year, like a you, not no a Mayate, like some fool left a comment a while back. I should have put him in a stupid comment video, but I forgot. But anyway, <laughs> what's good with y'all, man? I got some news today, man. I'm playing Call of Duty 4, by the way. I think I said that. I'm not sure what I said the first time, but man, you already know. I'm playing Call of Duty 4. Um, got some news about Call of Duty Ghost, man. I don't know if you guys have seen it already. It's about six days old, so you should have seen it. But apparently, man, um, Activision has announced that Call of Duty Ghost is going to offer a hybrid system of dedicated servers to all platforms. Um, now, what I've read, it kind of seems like they really couldn't talk much about the other platforms because, you know, they're, you know, partnered with Microsoft now, so they really can't speak on other consoles. But it sounds like they're saying that it's going to be. Um, dedicated service for all the consoles now this is going to be in the description if you want to see the article by the way um, <clears throat> all I can say is this was a tweet from Mark Rubin he said uh, I want to give a quick update on some of the work that has been done to improve everyone's online experience we've all uh, already mentioned dedicated service as part of the overall plan to improve connectivity dedicated service will be used on current gen next gen and PC with ghost and in order to make sure that people have the best possible experience regardless of platform location or connection Ghost will be using a hybrid system of dedicated servers that um, and listen servers. So no matter where you are in the game, you will always be. I mean, it will always be trying to give you the best online performance possible. There is also some great new tech in the matchmaking system that will place players in the matches that have the best combined overall connecti uh, connectivity performance. Again, these are just some of the things that are going to be in Call of Duty Ghost to give players a great online experience. Can't wait to see you all online. So somebody asked me, "Is like, yo, so does that mean it's going to be on?" Uh, the PS4 and PlayStation 3 and he said I can't call out the other platforms by name but one might assume that from what I wrote so sounds like there may be dedicated servers on not just the Xbox one but also on the uh, PS4 and the PS3 now a lot of people are going crazy about this I did see a few videos that you know the Call of Duty commentators put up and they're all going nuts like yeah this is gonna make a better connection for them and it's not gonna lag like it was like this room is right here and this is a dedicated <laughs> server too but I got a high ping here but um yeah they're, they're thinking that it's gonna improve the connection it kinda is um just because it's not gonna pick people who have the worst host ever but it's really not gonna fix the connection at all see what's gonna fix the connection is something else that they removed from the game and I I called this back when Black Ops 1 came out pretty look at this fool he would not let me get back in the window and I ended up dying because of him yeah you got fools like that on the PC but anyway, what's going to fix the game is they removed theater mode. When they first announced theater mode, I said on Black Ops 1 that this was going to cause lag. And if you remember, Black Ops 1 was the first time you really, really saw the lag. And then on Black Ops, I mean, on Modern Warfare 3, they added the whole uh, theater mode, and that caused lag too. So then on Black Ops 2, they did even worse. And I said this was going to make it worse, but they added that whole live stream with theater mode and all that. And I was like, nah, this is going to be an issue. This is going to make the game lag worse. And you see what kind of trash we got when that came up. So, I think Call of Duty Ghost is going to be pretty much back to, you know, Modern Warfare 2 standards or Modern Warfare standards. Even though those games are still trash to me, they were still playable. <laughs> Black Ops 2 was not playable. I tried to say Black Ops was good at first, man, but I had to, I had to let it go. I had to just just deal with it just say, look, it's trash. <laughs> But hey, let me know what you, how you feel about this in the comment section, man. How do you feel about the dedicated service? Are you happy about this? Now, this is to the Call of Duty guys, not the Battlefield guys. I don't need Battlefield hate. You know, I like both games. I think both games are good. I do like Battlefield a little bit better than Black Ops 2. I will tell you that. But hey, look, none of that hating stuff, man. But um, this is your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic. And I'm finna be gone. <laughs>